America had entered the war in December 1941, following the attack on Pearl Harbor. From 1942, US troops poured into Britain, including more than 130,000 African-American servicemen. They brought with them a new phenomenon, the jive. Occasions like this provided an escape from the drudgery of everyday life, as well as raising money for the government's Wings for Victory national savings scheme. Whoa! <laughs> you certainly scrubbed up. <laughs> There's the new dress, isn't it? There may be a war on, but some people can still turn out well, can't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 but you haven't noticed the shoes look like this. Ah, that's a sign of a good, hard-working farm girl. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Oh, I can tell the Americans are in town. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph Sewell is an expert in jive and swing dancing. It's an infectious dance. You you can't you don't you can't find a dancer dancing that's not smiling. It's just <laughs> impossible. It's such a vibrant form of dance, isn't it? I mean, what what is it officially called? Um, the dance that we're doing is called indie hop. It's uh, African American dance. When you had the black GIs come across and brought the real deal at indie hop, that's when it really started, um, you know, to take off. Well, I mean, it must have made such an enormous impact in village halls up and down the country. I guess the white dancer would have probably danced something a little bit more subdued. Once the GIs got out there and start chucking the ladies around, it would have blown people's socks off, but it would have made everyone feel good that was watching. There is one thing here that wouldn't really have happened during the war, and that's black and white GIs being in the same dance. The Americans brought with them not only their dance, but they also brought their social attitudes and their segregation that we weren't used to here. Yes, the white GIs would not tolerate being in the same building as the black GIs. African-American troops frequently came over in advance of the white GIs and had established themselves in local communities. When white GIs arrived and tried to impose segregation, they often met a stony response from the British people. I think we could have a go. Show us how to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Two fine young ladies like yourself. <laughs> ladies, get ready for the time of your life. Ooh, sorry. Hope I'll be doing well. The Lindy Hop was developed by mixing established dancers like the Breakaway and the Charleston, becoming popular at the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem. This new style spread like wildfire. 